Top 3 lenses for portrait photography. If this video gets 100 likes, I will make the giveaway for this film camera. It's Pentacon 6 and it's quite expensive film camera, so you'd better to press some likes right now. My name is Gene Black. I'm a portrait photographer with six years of experience and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we're going to talk about portrait photography and about my top three lenses for portrait photography. So long story short, I still use my Sony Alpha 7R2 camera for my photography projects and I see no reason to upgrade this camera because this camera is perfect for me for photography, despite of the fact that it looks quite well worn. But you know, I really like when things are worn because as for me, it means that you are simply using it. Number one in this list is my main lens, which is Sigma 35 Art Edition. And honestly, this is the best lens I've ever had. First of all, this lens is one of the best in low light situations. Aperture is 1.4 which means that if you even have not the best camera, which has a lot of noise on higher ISO, this lens is exactly what you need. From the first point comes the second point, and it's bokeh, bokeh, bokeh. Because of this low aperture, you can have a really blurry background on your pictures. And personally, I really like those blurry backgrounds on my pictures. This lens is also very, very sharp. But since I'm taking pictures mostly with black mist kind of filters, it's kind of difficult for you to see, but trust me, it's very, very sharp. I can also show you some examples when I'm not using those black mist filters. So check it out. I have to say that autofocus is a bit shitty a lot shitty, but I'm not sure what to blame, camera or lens. Uh, I used to think that I have to blame my camera, uh, but I still have to mention that eye tracking is completely not working. Um, so you might have a lot of misfocused pictures at the beginning, but when you understand how to work with this lens, you will have what you want. And the last thing to mention is the build quality and stuff. This lens feels like the premium lens. Almost zero plastic, it's huge and heavy. I mean, you can really kill someone with this thing, but don't try it. So yeah, if you're looking for something light and not heavy, this is not an option for you. But personally, I like metal lenses because they feel solid and I feel like if I drop my camera, I will not break my lens, at least from the first, first time. And number two is actually this one, Sigma 19mm with the aperture 2.8. It is small but still quite heavy and solid lens because it's not plastic again. I have to say that mostly I use my 35mm lens, but when I want to have like a wider angle portrait, I'm gonna use this one. I'm sure you can find a lot of better options, but this one is very, very cheap. I got this one for 150 euros and still you can get what you want with this lens it does have the worst focus ring i have ever seen but since it is a very wide lens and it has autofocus i don't really use the manual focus so if you don't have a lot of money and you like those wide angle portraits this is the perfect lens to start with and the last one in my top three lenses is Laiova 4mm. I don't have it right now with me, so this is how it looks like. It is a fisheye lens, like a very, very fisheye lens. It is so much fisheye so you can actually see the part of your camera on the picture. Yeah, it's a grip handle of my camera and you can see that on the picture. But I mean, just look at those pictures. They are very specific, but sometimes when I'm just tired of everything, I like to take some pictures like these. I have to mention that you need to be very, very gentle with this lens, because as you can see on the picture, this lens is not covered at all. So one wrong move and you're gonna break it. So keep it in mind. And that's it. Those three lenses are my favorite lenses for portrait photography. I hope that was an interesting video for you to watch. If so, please subscribe and press the like button because this will help me to finally grow this channel.
Thank you and see you soon.